little sleep. Whoop. Hi. Today we're cleaning the Polar Palace and looking after a very important part of the homestead, not just for their delicious eggs, uh, but uh, their role in composting organic matter. And uh, so I thought I'd show you some details uh, because of that importance and also because of the popularity of these eggs. They're free range organic. And uh, I, so I'm going to spend a few videos, a series probably on the chickens alone going into some detail. And uh, we'll start, uh, we'll zoom out, I guess, and uh, at a higher level. This is a, a used IPC tote that's been cut off. One end's been cut off. And here's, this is the fixed end with the roost in here. And this is the other end in here. And they've been cut in such a position that they register into each other. Now, I've chosen this also to look at because uh, along the way, talking about the birds, uh, we're also going to talk about uh, permaculture design and whole systems thinking. So here, basically, we're taking our waste stream and repurposing it. And at the end of the day, this uh, tote uh, will have a big role in uh, regenerating our ecology. Uh, that's, I think that's, uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for now because, but anyway, along the way, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see some of that systems thinking and uh, hopefully have some fun too with the birds because uh, sometimes they can be a hoot. There's yellow right there. So, okay, let's go in and have a closer look. We're cleaning out this and this, uh, this plastic, um, I think it's number two, uh, HPDE, and it cleans out very well. Uh, this is the fixed side, so I'm not going to pull it off right now, and but I could pull it off and hose it out uh, to fully, fully clean it, but right now I'm going to, I'm going to go in with the with the brush and uh, finish finish wiping that out it's been shoveled out already into the bucket and here's the other half that hasn't been cleaned out yet but that the, this side is just is movable so it'll just get tilted up and that'll get dumped out so in its place the fresh bedding which is uh, kiln dried wood shavings and we find that uh, Kiln dried is the only, uh, uh, the rest of it, if it's not kiln dried, then it's, it's moisture content is too high. This is the, this, for the best quality, get kiln dried. And uh, the irony of this uh, being imported whilst living alongside the largest sawmill in Newfoundland is not lost on me. Well, uh, we, we can talk some more about that, but we'll just look at where they go. And so in this place, that'll go in for the bedding and also sprinkled in to it will be uh, the diatomaceous earth uh, to, to, to keep down the bugs. Uh, I'm showing you the apple cider vinegar. That doesn't go in there, but it can be used for cleaning it in there i use just use use i'll use um regular um uh acetic acid for for cleaning use the heat and that's about it for that So I'm just adding fresh shavings now and uh, I was presently surprised to see this systems thinking here. Well, for one, I'm pleased to see that the shavings is coming in a paper bag instead of a plastic bag. But the, the bag is held together uh, on the ends, used for a staple surface on the ends with a piece of sawmill scrap. So that's the kind of uh, thinking that we like to see. It's catching on. 
in the world and that's more of it there this is a uh, of course the uh evaporator it's uh you look at lots of little oh poor evaporator but anyway this is a 20s 30s uh, fridge 1920s 30s fridge somewhere around there that was uh, recovered from the from the landfill and repurposed yeah but here is one of the best reasons for the birds is right here and this is it remember I said their importance in uh, turning organic matter composting organic matter There they are. Let's get one up. Again, as I said, this is going uh, probably in the new bed. No, actually, I've got some swales for that. And again, oh, I got to get back to work. Okay, thanks for watching again.